Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview of the Corsair HX1000i power supply. 80 platinum power supply. Pretty awesome looking power supply and I'm going to be using this in the boss build. But anyway, come over here real quick and I'll show you what's inside. Alright, here she is again. The Corsair HX1000 power supply. See right up here, we can see the power supply with the fan upwards. Facing upwards, I should say. Corsair HX1000. All that good stuff here. Side just basically has that blue line. High performance ATX power supply, HXI. The back shows you the efficiency, fan noise level, and just some more good information. The other side, nothing really. The top shows you all of the power connections that this power supply provides. It is a fully modular power supply, so we'll go ahead and open it up real quick. So, obviously, nothing else in that box. So, we got the brown box, Corsair logo. Over here, it's going to show the part number, serial number. And on the back, just shows that. So then here we have the HX1000i or all of the i series manual. It's going to give you safety and protection and then cable configuration, package contents, a bunch of decent information. Definitely worth a read. Then over here we have the Corsair important information. Uh, user's guide but they also say you can download from their website a uh, more thorough user's guide sorry guys i got some paint on my hands okay and all right don't eat that and then we have a nice and very thick power cable and this is about five feet long Okay, and here we have this little baggie with about, let's say, 12 zip ties, little tiny zip ties, a Corsair case badge, all right, and four power supply screws. So you can see what kind of screws they are. <clears throat> All right. Just pop those back in now. I don't want to lose them. <clears throat> and let's just make sure I got the count right. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, most definitely ten. Ten. Yeah, ten. 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 So. All right. Just a little Rain Man reference. <clears throat> All right, and then I really like the fact that they do this little baggy. All of the cables. So these are kind of ribbon. You can see that here, ribbon style cables. And this is the EPS 8-pin CPU power. One of those, then a Molex connection, just so you can see how long they are. They're all going to be around the same length. So all together there's going to be 
12 Molex. There's going to be two EPS CPU power. This is another Molex. Okay, then there's going to be eight of these six plus two PCIe connections. Let's see how, the, how long these are. Actually, they might all be the same length. Now, the Molex are a little bit shorter, but they are about maybe 2.5 feet. Okay, so again, there are eight 6 plus 2 pin, another one here, another one here, and this is a SATA power connection. Okay, you can see that right there. So this is going to face down when you connect it either to an optical, to an SSD, or to a mechanical drive. Then the one in the center is also going to face down so they can go connected one here and then one here. There are 12 of these connections. So to put that into perspective, I'm just putting all the, uh, all the cables together. And they also have a Molex to the four pin floppy connection. SATA power. And this is the ATX connection. 24 pin right there, 24 pin or 20. For baby ATX, uh, another EPS 12 or uh, 8 pin for the CPU. And then another Molex, I'm sorry, uh, SATA power right over here. And then they have here the USB connection for their Corsair Link digital dashboard right here. So it's going to connect to a USB header. Then the micro USB connection right over here. This cable is about 2.5 feet as well. Then another Molex to floppy or four pin, I should say. Okay, and then this is a power connection. I believe it to be for the Corsair Link digital dashboard for power for that, but I'm not 100% sure just yet. But uh, again, this is going to be used in the boss build. So I will, get more information on that last cable put this aside for right now okay so taking this out first off it comes in this corsair baggie black velvet looking bag <clears throat> okay then covered in plastic okay so the back where you connect from the wall you can see that right here and that big old power switch, along with the HX1000i logo or model number. You can see that here, along with all the power ratings. See that right across there. Okay. Then we have here the peripheral or SATA connections. And then over here, 6 plus 2 or 4, 4 plus 4 EPS, 24 pin down here. Then here is the Corsair Link digital connection. Actually, this is the first power supply I've used with it. We can see this connection that I showed you before connects oops, right in, right in there. off and then we have the bottom down here it is a 140 millimeter fan on the bottom 
So all the capacitors in here are 105 degrees C capacitors for higher tolerances. Again, as I mentioned before, it is an 80 plus platinum certified power supply. So super high efficiency. As you can see, it is fat, flat, flat black, and it does provide 1000 watts of power. It also has zero RPM mode. So when it doesn't need it or when you're on low workloads, this fan is going to either slow down or just turn off completely. It does come with a 10 year warranty, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, definitely that's something great to look for in a power supply or in anything really. The longer the, the warranty, usually the better reliability in whatever you're going to buy because they're putting that trust behind it that it's going to last at least 10 years, if not longer. So that's definitely awesome to see. And uh, well, that's about it for right now. I am going to be doing some testing on it on the boss build itself. And I will be building that real soon. So definitely keep your eye here and uh, you'll see more from me soon. Again, this is Iggy doing an unboxing and a brief overview of the Corsair HX-1000i. Iggy out. See you guys.